frankly, that might not even be the most embarrassing set of clips I've seen from the media recently. The most embarrassing one might go to the, the eulogy for the founder of Hustler, Larry Flint. I didn't actually didn't even realize Larry, Larry Flint uh, had died. Larry Flint dies and this guy is one of the most famous pornographers in the country, other than Hugh Hefner, probably the most famous one. And to show you how far our speech regime, our, our understanding of the moral order has fallen and how much it has shifted in recent decades, listen to the way that CBS covers the death of this pornographer. Flint fought several high profile legal battles and became a target for feminists and the religious right. Flint died of heart failure in Los Angeles. He was 78 years old. Love him or hate him. He was yeah. a controversial figure, uh, but he really did change the way people thought about the First Amendment. That's yeah. absolutely true. He was also, I mean, it's interesting. He was, he opposed the death penalty. He favored same-sex marriage. He spoke out against the U.S. invasion of Iraq. Politically, he was very progressive. He, he was not what you might think that Larry Flint exactly was right. going to be. Yeah. 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 And, some, and some reader of Hustler left a copy in a construction site when I was 10 near my friend's house. <laughs> What'd you do with it? And it changed my life forever. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> and here you are on <laughs> CBS's <laughs> How about that? This is very embarrassing for these people on, on many levels. It's a funny line. You know, he'd, I found this, this porn magnet changed my life forever when I was 10 years old. I think that's true. You know, I think that actually is true. And part of the reason right now that on the right, this porn debate has come up, this question of should we regulate porn or ban porn, it, you'll notice it's come up not from Gen X or the boomers or even millennials. It's really come up from Gen Z. Why? Because Gen Z is the first generation that grew up with the internet all the time, basically in a world saturated by not just a little nudie magazine, but by high speed internet porn from the age of 10 or whenever. I think on average, it's people are about 11 years old when they first discover porn in these younger generations. And it can really ruin your life. <laughs> you know, it can really make your life a lot harder. I think people make fun of, of these Zoomers when they say, we need to regulate porn. They say, oh yeah, you probably look at porn. Yeah, they probably do. Because something like, what is it, 92% or something of men look at porn, certainly have looked at porn. I think in terms of have seen naked ladies on the internet, it's like 92% of men have done it and 8% of men are lying is what, what people say about the, the statistics. Yes, they realize it's a real problem. And Larry Flint is in no small part responsible for that. I, I couldn't get over it when that reporter said, you know, though, believe it or not, Larry Flint was politically very progressive. Gee, you don't say, oh, I, I thought he was a conservative Republican. I thought he was like Edmund Burke, but oh, he's progressive, the pornographer. Wow, shocking. Yeah, Larry Flint, when Republican politicians would oppose the ubiquity of porn, he would go in and try to gin up sex scandals for them in the 1990s. He endorsed Mark Sanford in 2013 for uh, South Carolina's first congressional district because he said, quote, his open embrace of his mistress in the name of love, breaking his sacred marriage vows was an act of bravery that has drawn my support. That guy should be canceled. That kind of, that sort of culture should be canceled. That view of the First Amendment, which is completely at odds with the, with the understanding of our founding fathers and the hist most of the history of our country, that should be canceled. It has to be. You can't have both views. You can't have the view of the founding fathers of the First Amendment and the modern view at the same time. One view says we need to prioritize liberty, not licentiousness. Licentiousness will destroy liberty. The modern view says licentiousness is liberty. Can't have them both. You've got to pick one. We should pick the founding fathers. We can all pray for Larry Flint's soul. But when we think about his legacy, uh, we should not celebrate it in the way that, that CBS is doing. If you enjoyed that break from disinformation, historical revision, and screaming about the end of the world, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video.